Call of Cthulhu 7th Edition, when it was finally released out there to everyone in the wild, not just backers, made a huge splash. It's a big success. Everybody was talking about it, and that made me really happy. I didn't stay happy for very long. <laughs> and I have a long review on my channel, which talks about my personal experience with why that edition is not for me. But, to be fair to all the work, all the effort that went into that edition, I spent most of my time talking about how people who hadn't tried playing that way, either because they were completely new to the hobby, completely new to Call of Cthulhu, or had been playing older games and hadn't tried newer style games yet, what they might get out of it and why they should try it. The ending of the review was encouraging people to try it. Just like the original Call of Cthulhu opened doors of perception to different ways to play for generations of gamers, it's possible this one could too. It just didn't happen to be an edition I wanted to use. And the reason why I took the time to explain why I didn't like the game was to help other people who were similarly struggling with their love of Call of Cthulhu and their dislike of this one edition of Call of Cthulhu to help them possibly find voice, be able to put their finger on the things that weren't working for them so that they could apply them differently or decide to do something else. Now, I'm making this video not to clarify what I said in the review. I'm making it because here we are at a new turning point with the new Chaosium. Mass of Nyarlathotep was released today. It's July 1st, 2018, as I record this. I have just downloaded the PDF, and we have two venues to do that from. One from DriveThruRPG, and two from Chaosium. And they say if you order directly from Chaosium, the price of the PDF will be applied to the hardcover slipcase set, should you choose to order it. And I think a lot of people are going to be shocked by the sticker price. It's a $59.99, or basically $60, PDF, and the slipcase print version is $130. This is an expensive product for, you know, a campaign that has been around for an incredibly long time. It's not just a reprint. Massive Nyarlathotep has been reprinted in various forms several times. This is something new. More art, more detailed maps. It's coming after the creation of the incredible labor of love, the Massive Nyarlathotep Companion. So, so much more is known about the regions, the times, the peoples, the cultures, and the places of all the different places that Masses of Nyarlathotep travels to. This campaign, possibly, could be deeply enriched by all of that work. It can be deeply enriched by the new focus from Chaosium on not just providing quality words, but providing beautiful packaging. And one of the main reasons that I was distressed when Call of Cthulhu 7th Edition was initially released was because that's all everybody was talking about. They were just saying, it's beautiful. It was like nobody was reading it. And this edition is not without its flaws. And one of the biggest flaws, I feel, beyond things like the persistent typographical errors, which are, especially in a work of that size, difficult to wrestle with, despite the conflicting voices in the instructions, in the rules themselves. Despite those problems, there was something about to emerge for 7th edition of Call of Cthulhu, which was fantastic, and something which I wish they had committed to from the beginning. If they had had the courage to go that one more step. They already took a radical step by saying we're changing the system. They already took a radical step by limiting its focus down to essentially pulp heroic play. They just didn't quite go far enough. I would have trumpeted from the rooftops 
the decision to make such a radical change. As it is, 7th edition tries to stand between both worlds, and in my opinion, and perhaps my opinion alone, it fails in the balancing point. But the mass of Nyarlathotep campaign being released today for Call of Cthulhu 7th edition will contain the rules that you need to run it in 7th edition, if you like, but more importantly, contains the rules to run it in Pulp Cthulhu, which I think might be an incredibly fun way to play this incredibly challenging adventure. As we enter into this period where Massive Nerlothotep ceases to be what it was and starts being what it is going to be remembered as, as a two-volume, hardcover, slipcase set with luxurious handouts and art, some of which will be like this. This is actual art from the previews which have been released by Chaosium over the last few weeks. Incredibly detailed. Art direction from Chaosium in this new period is somewhat uneven, and to be honest, it's not something I feel comfortable talking about. It's not a very big part of role-playing games for me. But there will be incredible pieces, and there will be serviceable pieces to give the campaign the visual impact many game masters, many keepers might need in order to find the inspiration, find the voice to make specific scenes as interesting, as horrifying, as stimulating as they need to be. Art, especially in this day and age, especially in such a small, challenging, and competitive industry, does need to help give voice to the quality of a product. It shouldn't, in my opinion, try to cover inadequacies in the product. It certainly shouldn't be the reason to ever buy the product. The product is designed to help our shared imaginings. It would be a shame if it sat alone, unused, on a shelf, and it would be a shame to be used only as an art book. But we can disagree on that. We all have different reasons for pursuing these things and bringing them into our homes and into our groups and into our gaming lives on our gaming tables. Massive Nyarlathotep is an experience. It's one of those things, I think, that a role-playing gamer should try at some point. It's not easy. It is incredibly exciting. It can be both fun and frustrating at the same time. It can be exhilarating and terrifying at the same time. What have the new authors done with it? Well, it was just released today. I just bought it an hour ago. I haven't read it. This is not a review. But one will come, and I will again share my honest thoughts upon it. I hope especially from the Pulp Cthulhu perspective, I hope that I love it. I would really like to stop feeling like my relationship with my old friend Chaosium has been irreparably damaged. We'll see. I have an open mind, and I have an open copy of Pulp Cthulhu. And these two things should see me through. I have every version of Massive Nyarlathotep that predates this, and I will be using the pre-order coupon that comes with the PDF order to make sure that I get a print copy of this one, if for nothing else, comparison, but hopefully for celebration. Are you curious about the new version? Let's start talking in the comments. Thanks for listening.